Behold, the Archaeon, as Numenon serves as Charlayan's literary archive, so does this, this structure house the city's wealth of material data. The architecture, too, is similar. This building you see is merely the upper entrance, an access point to the vaults carved into the cliffside itself. Within those vast rooms are stored countless samples and specimens, as well as the detailed records which describe them. In a manner of speaking, the Archaeon contains a physical history of Charlayan's unwavering dedication to the accumulation of knowledge. Okay. Afano is gazing into the Archaeon with an appraising look. Oh. Well, we won't learn anything, learn anything of value while standing out here. Let us proceed into the main building and speak with the custodian. Greetings, we are here to peruse the Archaeon's vault. Peruse? You are clearly not gleaners, then. Might I ask your affiliation? We belong to the students of Baldessian, but is that relevant? I was given to believe that the vaults, those open to the public at least, were open to the public. Ordinar ordinarily, yes, that would be the case. At present, however, access is restricted. Only persons directly involved with the reorganization efforts are permitted to enter. Hmm. Not us, then, I suppose. Oh, not us, then. I suppose we had better move along to another facility. This building has a lift which connects to the middle tier, yes? Might we at least make use of that? That service has also been suspended, I'm afraid. For the time being, priority has been given over to the conveyance of inventory. Uh... Okay, so we can't even take the lift. What, so this is as far as we can go? I apologize for the inconvenience. Please come again after our restructuring operation is concluded. That's not helpful. By that time, it'll be too late, and we were so close to getting answers. We need to rethink our approach. Let us step outside for the moment, shall we? Yes, maybe we don't talk about this in front of this guy. Students of Baldessian. Humph. We are at an impasse. As we have no other leads, I should like to pursue this one further. But I doubt that our stone-faced custodian will be swayed by heartfelt pleas. We must seek out another means, another means to access the lower levels. Tis likely that the other people... Uh, it is likely that the other people in this area are involved in the restructuring in one way or another. If we were to in ingratiate ourselves, they might allow us to accompany them on the lift. Let us ask around. Surely someone is in need of a few strong backs to lighten the load. Okay. Bone-weary worker? That sounds about right. Oh, you look kind of scary up there, Ash. What's that? Take you down on the lift with me? Sorry, but not a chance. I've been up and down all day, and only now have I finally found a spare moment to rest. Oh. I did see a gleaner fellow heading out the gate there, though. Shouldering a large pack, engaged in some manner of task. Maybe he'll be headed down below after he's done with whatever it is he's doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I taking the lift? Oh, no, we're just students. They won't let us into the Archeon, even though we found... Actually, we have no idea what it is we found. There's no record of such a creature anywhere. But it was wandering around tranquility, and so we caught it to, thought to donate it to the vaults. Uh. <laughs> Oddest little squeal, don't you think? Anyway, I suppose we'll have to take care of it until the Archeon is open again. Can... Okay. Hatching canal. Quiet. You'll frighten it away. What? Frighten what away? <gasps> is that the mar- Wait, what is that? Ah, uh, it's you again. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm in the middle of another task. The cloud can I need to capture is close. Very close. Hmm, you wish to help me with this too? You spend your time in unusual ways, my friend. Still, two hunters are generally better than one. Very well. The canal here is a common gathering spot for birds of all kinds, but the one af I'm after today is the hornbill. 
Its feathers are green and its cry a distinctive caw. Single it out and shoot it with this sleeping dart. Okay. The effects are short-lived, so I'll lie and wait down by the riverbank to claim our quarry. Be sure to hit the right one. How will I know? What? Oh, it's like literally right here. Search your surroundings for the horn. Oh, okay. How am I supposed to... Is, am I going to hear it? Oh. It's this one. What? It said caw. What? It said it had a, a distinct caw. That one was cawing. Can it only do one caw? Is that the problem? It's gotta be this one then, right? They both just say caw caw. How was I supposed to know? Whatever. We did it. Yay. Fair shot. Oh. That's voice acted? Weird. Nicely done. Let me trust this one up and I'll make my way over to you. Okay. Come over to me, bunny boy. There you are. Any new revelations? I know me. So you met with that gleaner again, this time to capture a hornbill. I understand catching and bringing in creatures from the outside, but what's the point of chasing after ones already here? Hmm. Oh. It's a simple thing, really. Occasionally, we remove specimens no longer needed for study, or those we've had difficulty raising. Don't but you do we it. can't simply turn them loose. Safely returning such creatures to their native habitats is another facet of a cleaner's duties. Not in this case, I'm afraid. I've been asked to bring the bird below. The restricted section in the lower levels of Labyrinthos. Open only to a select few researchers hand-picked by the forum. The projects down there are the subject of rumor and hearsay. Forbidden magics. Advanced technologies that can never be allowed to fall into outside hands. Even Archons are not privy to the truth. Those who are, the researchers involved in this secretive work, are not permitted to walk freely in the city and are instead required to live in isolated quarters. What could a facility subject to such strict security protocols possibly need with a hornbill? An... an experiment? Possibly. I wasn't afforded an explanation. But hmm. judging by the requisition list given to me and my colleagues, I doubt it's for any kind of advanced research. I'd be more inclined to believe we were making preparations to migrate to the south. Mericidio, or thereabouts. What? Why would you say that? What are you doing, sir? <laughs> Much
parts of the flora and fauna we were asked to procure could serve as reliable sources of sustenance. <laughs> They're comparatively hardy species. Cut too, back from Dago Walk. Able to endure Was it nice? harsh climates. Is it nice out there? And among them are specimens known to be effective in improving soil quality. He did and not want the purifying booth. water. When you put it that way, migration does sound like a reasonable assumption. That's all it is, though. An assumption. Through our tasks, we gleaners glimpse only bits and pieces of the forum's plans. I don't know. Our prime <clears throat> concern is that our requisitions, be they living or otherwise, are properly preserved for the knowledge of future generations. What? Now... I really must be going. I regret that I cannot reward you as you deserve. You keep saying that. Perhaps you might reward us after a fashion then. It is imperative that we reach the lower levels. Mm. And seeing as you are already set to descend with your assigned cargo, mayhap we could accompany you as your assistance mayhap I'm afraid that won't be possible oh once the animals have been prepared for transport we sent them down separately via the lift oh they don't even trust you huh I will of course follow after to make my report but I can hardly pass you off as porters when there's nothing left to carry indeed hmm. Pray forget I said anything. Hey, Nomi, what are you doing? How do you feel about climbing? If you've strength and the courage to brave it, then there is another way down. Oh? This path leads to the 33rd facet, a mine shaft excavated during one of our expansions of Labyrinthos. Hmm. While I cannot guarantee that the passage is safe to traverse, it should provide access to the meteor circuit below. Oh, okay. I never even knew such a place existed. Oh, Thank she's you. so excited. This is the perfect solution. You're quite welcome. But consider yourselves warned. If the going proves too treacherous, you'd do well to turn back. I bid you good day. Well, turning back is hardly an option, not when we've come this far. Let's go and take a look at this mine shaft. Is this going to be the dungeon? Oh, okay. Turn. <laughs> Are you giving me the cold shoulder? This must be it, the entrance to the mine shaft. Tis faint, but I hear something moving within. Creatures ho homed there by the researchers, you think? Well, slavering beasts aside, we will need to watch our footing. We should tighten our straps and such before we continue. Assuming everyone's tightened their straps and checked their gear, then I say we head on in. Given the terrain ahead, though, it might be wise to leave some distance between us. We don't want to be stumbling over each other if it comes to a fight. Take it slow, and don't forget to check your surroundings from time to time. We can meet up again at the other end of the tunnel. Okay. How many enemies will appear? Two. Oh. 
Oh shit, what? Button? Did I have it on? Okay, I didn't really need your help, but... This takes forever. Forever surveying. Everyone seems to have made it through without incident, nothing of consequence at least. And, as promised, the tunnel has delivered us into the medial circuit. As I recall, this tier is where they keep a wide variety of samples for agricultural production. If Aaronville's assumption holds true that specimens, that specimens are being collected in preparation for great migration, then we should see evidence of such plans in the area's research pro projects. Let's follow the path to the nearest farming facility and see what we see. Okay. I would thank them, but they have do not disturb on. Oh, what is this music? Oh, time to make some wine. Maybe. Aha, now I know where we are. This is Muriel Agronomics, okay. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Labyrinthos is host to a wide variety of vegetation, which allows us to conduct studies on cultivation methods utilized in foreign lands. And it is this facility which coordinates the oversee and oversees those efforts. The fruits <laughs> of their research go to feed the labyrinth their Labyrinthos colleagues, or so I hear. More notable successes might make it to the Agora, food so exotic you'd be hard-pressed to guess their origin, let, a let alone how they might taste. Why are you laughing? Indeed, mystery vegetables without a name, only a list of nutritional benefits scribbled on a card. Hmm, I see no glee gleaners hereabouts, yet these workers seem to share that same sense of urgency. It's possible they know something of the forum's plans and their underlying motivations. Worth looking into, wouldn't you say? Probably. See what you can coax from their workers. The rest of us will do the same or cast about for useful clues. Oh, hello there. We weren't expecting visitors. Not with the use of the, not with use of the lift being restricted. How did you make it down here anyway? <laughs> Secret. The mine. Sh Why are we telling them this? The mine shaft, you say? Well, you're a much hardier soul than I. Under normal circumstances, I'd reward such tenacity with a guided tour of the fields. But I'm afraid the forum has us filling order lists a mom long. Massive yet detailed requests, literal wagon loads of crop samples, and hardly any time to put them together. When I first heard of this grand reorganization, I assumed we would be shuffling around old stock to make room for the new. Then came the orders for ridiculous quantities of seeds we've already thoroughly researched. Passing strange, eh? I pressed for an explanation and was met with vague assurances that all would be revealed, uh, revealed in due course. Not the most satisfying answer. Hmm, it does kind of sound like it might be like a repopulation situation. Do 
Do I have ought to be taken down below? Yeah. Do I have ought to be taken down below? More than I can carry and then some. Most of our stock is sent off via the cargo lift, but some has been earmarked for aerial transport, hence the stack of crates atop that hill over there. Gods, hauling the lot up that slope was a job and a half. What crops are we raising? Well, as you can see, this one is a variety of grape. Only needs a good source of sunlight to grow, and the conditions here are nothing short of perfect. Hardly surprising, given that it's native to a particular locale in the very place upon which Labyrinthos was modeled, a region in the south of Ilsebard. If it boasts remarkable habitat diversity, allowing for myriad flora and fauna to thrive. Chilly peaks in the north give way to swaths of temperate plains, which in turn transition into a hot, humid coastline. Such bountiful territory is ever contested, as you might expect. It used to be called Corvos before the Imperials renamed it Locus Amo Amoanus. The forum saw it not as a prize, prize, however, but as a researcher's ideal environment, one whose climates we strove to recreate within the confines of Labyrinthos. It's since provided a rich foundation for countless experiments and cultivation. Okay. Yeah, I mean, shouldn't you be concerned that your vegetables are running around attacking people? I feel like I'd be concerned. The labels on these crates tell the story of their contents, bundles of common seeds and saplings accompanied by sheaves of reports. Why are we shocked? Well, that's pretty. Oh. Why do I look Hard sad? Away, oh. Isn't it? Alistair? But they're more than pretty flowers. No, maybe not. Are attuned to ambient emotion. This ashen grey, for instance, it mirrors the anxiety and urgency of those working nearby as they rush to fulfill sudden orders. I was not ready. Intense feelings like those spur the petals to change colour. Bright glowing hues in the presence of joy. Dark, subdued shades for frustration or despair. <laughs> Yet even with the collected wisdom of Charlian at our disposal, if I had if I had flowers that responded to emotions, maybe I could keep them alive by being emotional. <laughs> I don't know. And there are other mysteries besides. Although the flower is extraordinarily long-lived, its low reproductive rate has made it difficult to find younger populations. What is that sound? Oh. It's my robot. Don't worry about it. With too few sightings to map its distribution, and no closely related species to track. Wait, what? We've been unable to pinpoint You're an emotional yet. roller coaster. <laughs> Good morning, Blue. Yeah, I've been up since five in the morning. It's we're rounding out we're rounding up to nap time though soon. To further complicate matters, every culture, even dimly aware of its existence, has given it a different name and mythos. How are you? How's your Friday? Go to bed. Be like Amara. Dream your So I was thinking about Leaving the stream up and putting on like words on stream or whatever. Um, but like, yeah, but that's the issue is like most people are lurking while they work and stuff. So, as an avid botanist myself, I'll probably just I stop stream, like nap, and then come back in a couple hours. But I'm afraid other duties must take precedence. I will leave you to your thoughts. This guy's voice sounds so familiar. 
but the internet doesn't know who it is yet. Hey guys. Welcome back. Why am I not at work? Because I took today off for Endwalker. Uh, no. I mean, it's it's in very scabby, very scabby mode right now. No, me. Yeah. Yeah, it's the new expansion. Just It just came out at 4 a.m. was early access. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. So I want to see it change. But as it stands, we fail to gain any significant insight into the forum's undertaking. Indeed. While there is certainly enough activity to support Arendelle's supposition, has been worth it. It's, been yeah, it's been good so far. Where we we're going on five hours. Um, it's mostly story stuff so far. We haven't gotten to a dungeon or anything yet. These workers were never informed as to how their duties serve the master plan. There's some shady stuff going on, and we're just trying to figure out what it is. <sighs> if only we could interrogate the forum members directly. And then they all walk out, is that... <laughs> the entrance to the arcade is that our friend Erinville or whatever look there I think that's Erinville how'd he get in there a little difficult to tell from here but but I think you're right he did say mm. he was coming down to make his report right Erinville receives his orders from the Forum. Would it not follow, then, that the superior to whom he reports is a Forum member? Or at least a close associate? Maybe. Do you mean to eavesdrop on their conversation? What of the risks? Hours I mean, worth it? Worth the risks? With work, nor will he be implicated as an accomplice. If you're not comfortable taking part, I can do this alone. <laughs> Nay. I said myself that I wished to know Father's intentions. And no answers will be forthcoming should we simply ask nicely. True. We can apologize later, should it come to it. Right now, we need every crumb of information we can get our hands on. Consequences be damned. It might be best if you came along as well. In fact, we should all. We shall what? <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. All right, go back to work. Have a good day. You can tell that I'm tired. That I'm getting scared oh, by all of yes. these bit alerts. That certainly sounds like a plan. I'm glad you agree. Did you see the new, the new bit emo, blue? You should have access to it. Uh. This one. <laughs> My computer is angry. Quickly, Erinville is on the move. We need to get closer before we lose him. Kyle. Almost. I can almost reach you. Now, what's this about? What? It's ha 
happening. Is Cryo still feeling unwell? I've never seen her so distracted. Keep an eye on her, but keep moving too. We cannot let our quarry slip away. Slip away. Slip away. Yay! I leveled! <laughs> 